Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see about React basic introduction and how to set up React. What is React JS? React, also known as React JS, is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It is maintained by Facebook and a community of individual developers and companies. React is used for building user interfaces specifically for a single page or mobile application. It's used for handling the view layer for web and mobile apps. React also allows us to create reusable UI components. Let's set up a React.js. Let's first download Node.js. Search Node.js download. Open first link. Let's download 64-bit MSI. Downloaded successfully. Let's install. Follow the steps. Installed successfully. Let's the open command prompt. Add a command to check node version. Command link npm version. See the version is showing 6.9.0. Now let's open downloads folder. Let's create a React app using the command. A command like npx create React app my first tap. Created successfully. Now open my first tap. To start this application let's execute a command like npm start. Server started successfully. See application started. It's showing like edit app.js and save to reload. Let's open this folder in sublime text. Folder opened successfully. Let's quickly review all the files. Let's open package JSON file. Here is the application name, version. See here are the required dependencies. See here are the scripts like when we say npm start it will refer this line. Let's open package lock.json file. This file contains all the node modules related details. Now open src folder. The open public folder also. Open index.html file. See this is the entry point and only one html file so whenever we modify or add anything this one file is capable of doing everything that's why it is called single page application. Here is the definition. A single page application is a web application or website that interacts with the user by dynamically rewriting the current page rather than loading entire new pages from a server. This is the title. This is development here id is the root. Now let's open app.js file, whatever you were seeing when application loads, so this is the file which contains all the code. If you notice this is a JS file but this file contains HTML also. This concept is called JSX. Before going further let's see, what is JSX? JSX, JavaScript extension, is an alternative of React.create elements. It allows us to define React elements using syntax that looks like HTML. Here is the example. Like what if you are not using JSX then here is the code which we should use React create an element. This code is difficult to write and difficult to understand also. If you use JSX then things become very simple. Here is the code when we use JSX. You can see the difference. Now you can easily understand this code. The same thing you can see here also. See here is the link. Now let's open index.js file. Whatever code we saw in app.js file, that is nothing but a component. Using this react dom.render we putting app component in the root which is a part of index.html. See we imported react dom. Let's see what is react dom. But before that let's see what is the difference between dom and virtual dom. Dom, document object model is an abstraction of a structured text, where HTML tags become nodes in the DOM. While HTML is a text, the DOM is an in-memory representation of this text in the form of nodes. The DOM provides an interface, API, to traverse and modify the nodes, and it contains methods like get element by it or remove child. Virtual DOM The virtual DOM is an abstraction of the DOM. It is lightweight and detached from the browser-specific implementation details. Since the DOM itself was already an abstraction, the virtual DOM is, in fact, an abstraction of an abstraction. What is React DOM? React relies on virtual DOM to render elements into the browser DOM. It was not invented by React, but Facebook uses it and provides it for free. The virtual DOM, VDOM, is a programming concept where an ideal, or virtual, representation of a UI is kept in memory and synced with the real DOM by a library such as React DOM. This process is called reconciliation. 
In the React world, the term virtual DOM is usually associated with React elements since they are the objects representing the user interface. See this root, is present in index.html. Now I hope you understood the flow of how to React works. Now let's remove all the code and just put some simple message. See it automatically refreshed. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.